Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on the new Glint tool. In 2017.102, we have a new tool called the Glint tool that we can use in the photo editor to add glints to places like eyes to liven up the faces. Here we have an image of our two models that I open by double clicking a thumbnail to get into the editor. And now I'm going to just right click right on the bridge of the nose here to center the eyes. And that'll bring up the preview and you can see the eyes here. And we're familiar with the vanish tool, which can be used for things like vanishing blemishes or things that you don't want in photos. The vanish tool basically makes things disappear by clicking in the center of the little blemish here and dragging out until it disappears. But the glint tool, and I'll select that now, will actually add a glint to the eyes to liven up the eyes a bit. Here we have pretty even lighting on a cloudy day, so we don't have a sharp glint. And I'm gonna go in 2X here so we can view the eyes up closer. And I'll show you how to use the glint tool. With the glint tool, we look at the eyes first and we notice what kind of reflections the eyes have on them naturally. I see that this eye has a small glint here or at least a reflection in this area. And this one doesn't have as pronounced of a reflection, it's more even. So I'm gonna carry that through to the glints that I create here. And what I wanna do is take this small half moon shaped reflection here and turn it into a glint by clicking in the center of it and dragging outward. And what that does is it takes the existing reflection or glint that's there and it enhances it a bit. It makes it brighter. It doesn't destroy what's underneath if there's already a small glint and you're just trying to make it bigger, but it will expand it and make it brighter. On this eye, on this side, I think I'm gonna make this glint a little bit smaller, but I'll show you how to do that. Glints are rarely in the exact same location on the eyes, but I'm going to put this one in about the same spot and just click, hold the mouse down and drag outward and create a small glint on this side. And this glint naturally was not quite as bright as the other one because there wasn't an existing reflection underneath, but that's okay. We can click the vanish tool here. Let's go back to vanish. And I'm going to chop off the bottom, let's say, half or third of this glint by just clicking and dragging out. And that will actually take off some of that glint. And if I stop my mouse in the right spot, I get sort of a crescent-shaped glint on this eye that is a little bit different than that one. And to me, that looks more natural because you rarely ever get a glint that's exactly the same on both eyes. There could be trees or clouds or something and the lighting could be blocking the light from one eye differently than the other. And that just looks more natural to me, but it's all up to you and to what you want to create. If you create this and decide you want a little bit more of a glint, you can click glint again and go over this one and make a little bit brighter center to it. And it's still not exactly the same shape as that, and again, to me, that looks natural, having one glint slightly different than the other, then it doesn't just look like dots on the eyes. Now let's back off to 1x here and look at this at 100% view. And we'll get to see what these eyes look like before and after. There's the eyes with the glint that we added to them. And if I hold my mouse over this yellow button here and click and hold the left mouse button, we can actually view off and on. I'm holding the button down and that's off and that's on. So we can see what we've done. It's now blinking the glints that we've added. And if you stop holding the mouse button, it'll go back to the edits that you've done. And we've really brightened up the face, the eyes, with adding those little glints to it. And between the glint tool and the vanish tool, you can make those glints any shape or size that you like just by following the instructions in this video. So I hope you enjoy the new Glint tool and that it helps you with your photography. And thanks for watching.